Dorothy. Lloyd Smith is here to report on location on that story. I've always had a thing about the Wizard of Oz, and there's a movie, as some of you know, called The Great Oz, or something like that. As I understand it, the movie is no more than pretty good Oz, but I haven't actually seen it yet. But I, what struck me about this topic, and I'm, I'm not going to respond exactly the way you have in mind, because if you can do that with the topic, I can do it with my response, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a demonstration on TV once, TV News report about a demonstration. I forget what the cause was, and it probably doesn't matter anymore. But there had been demonstrators in Wichita, Kansas, and they had stifled the police by simply overwhelming them. The cops in Wichita were too nice for the for their own good, is what it amounts to. Well, a week or two later, the entire group moves to Buffalo, New York, same cause, and I can't remember what it was. It might have been nuclear disarmament or something. It was 20 years ago or more. And up there, they started doing the same thing they did in Wichita, and they all shuffle over to then block this doorway to a building. And I'll never forget this, one of the demonstrators, a young woman, was screaming abuse at this cop, and he jabbed her right in the solar plexus with his nightstick. And of course, her tongue stuck out about two feet, and her eyes bugged open, and he said, you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, cops, you're not in Kansas anymore, Togo. <laughs> and that was it, that's when the news story ended. But I, I love that story, and I love that picture of that woman with her eyes about this big and her tongue sticking for you.